goal of the lab is to use motion analysis to assess human movement. The advantage to what we can do in here is through the use of the motion analysis system, we're able to uh, detect movements with reflective markers on the body of a subject placed in specific anatomical landmarks. Concussion is a complex pathophysiological condition that results from a high level of force uh, imparted to the brain. This is an example of a control subject. Typically, individuals without a concussion are able to control their balance in the forward direction uh, as well as the side-to-side -side direction without much difficulty. So with a control subject, we would typically expect to see that they walk in a more straight pattern um, and, and sway less side-to-side -side than somebody with a concussion. So here we see a concussion subject within 72 hours of his injury. And one of the results that we can see through this video is that he's moving a lot more side to side, just trying to complete a simple walking task. At the same time, he's also decreasing how fast he's walking in the forward direction. So we're looking at movement in two different planes of movement, the forward direction as well as the side to side movement. Additionally, we also have looked at how fast they're moving in the forward direction average walking speed and we see that uh, individuals with concussion uh, take more time to complete this one trial uh, than somebody that's healthy because they're able to walk uh, at a faster rate and control their momentum in the forward direction in a better way than a concussion subject. And it provides a lot of information for us about how the brain processes information and controls movement.